Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about Webflow. It's a uh, online uh, website generator. Uh, it does, it's, it's great using it to build off of websites. Uh, let's see, example one would be like I'm a Reality. This is one I recently uh, just finished uh, for one of my clients. And it's just, it's just, it just does really, really nice work. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a great product. And menus over here. It's got a blog. It's got a great CMS. You can look at these, you know, you go, go, go to these. Uh, you know, here's the actual CMS part of it. Anyway, it's, it's a, it's a, a stupendous uh, product. It's called Webflow. Anyway, what I want to do is talk about today, I want to talk about the uh, uh, Webflow, um, uh, making a modal window in Webflow, which is so it can be kind of tricky. So real quickly, I would assume that you're Webflow users and I'm not going to get into anything more other than the fact that, the, that uh, you know, we're, you know, basically basic Webflow users and this will be a very basic tutorial. So let's get started. Uh, add a section. I'm going to add a section and then I'm going to make that section, the highlight section, something like, let's give it 2,000 pixels. So it's pretty large. And then let's give it uh, a picture. So I'll go here and I'm going to upload a picture. Let's find something like this. Uh, this isn't that great, but I'll upload it. And I'll go to the background for that sec that, that section, uh, which is right here. And I'm going to upload this picture, choose this image here. And I'll make a cover and we'll center it. And, and we're done. And the reason I did this is so that we can see that we have a scrollable page. So we'll be able to see it scroll. Okay, so then I want to add a button. And again, like I said, this is going to be very basic. I'm not going to do anything. Style. I'm not going to style the button at all. I'm going to say, uh, you know, large modal window. Okay, and that's that's really all we're going to do with that. It's just that's that's the, that's the, lo the modal window button, right? So we're going to be able to click that, and a window is going to pop up. So Next thing we do is we add a div and we'll put that right here. And this div, I'm going to call this div uh, modal wrapper. Okay. And that's just giving you a name. Uh, and I want that, that modal wrapper to be, uh, width hundred percent height is 100 viewport height. So that's going to make the height, the full height of this window right here. Um, and, uh, let's give it a, a color, uh, here, so we can see what it looks like. So I'm going to make it black, but I'm going to make it so a little transparent. So, so when it covers, you know, when the modal window covers, you'll see it's a little transparent. So there's that. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on this thing that says, uh, fixed. And the reason for that is I want this to be, this to be a fixed site everywhere we go, right? So uh, if it's fixed, then I know that we'll be in pretty good shape. Now I need to also look at this. I'm going to move this up here above the section so that it's actually, you know, it's not part of the section. I want it outside the section. So there. <coughs> okay. So now we have, have this, I can't get to this button anymore. So I'll have to select that through the outline, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Now, now that I have this, let's go ahead and make this a flex. And we make it flex, we'll center things. And I'm going to add another div block. And this div block, I'm going to call this div modal window. And again, as I said, make these things, oops, div modal window. Okay, there we are. And I'm going to make this, let's make it um, 480. 20 pixels. Let's make it white. And just for the heck of it, we'll give it four radiuses. Uh, I'll go all, also go into uh, a box shadow. Let's put that on here. Um, 360 and the distance. There you go. No distance. Actually, no distance. Let's give it some more blur. And some more size there so 
So that gives us a little window that pops out. And I can go back to this modal. I think I'll go back to this modal. I'll adjust the transparency so we can see that a little better. So we'll go in here. Let's make it a little, a little there. So now we can see the kind of the drop shadow right. It's kind of very subtle. Okay, so this is our window, and now let's just go ahead and drop a header heading tag in here, just so that we know that's what it is. And uh, let's center that, and we'll call it modal. Okay. Okay, and now that we've got that, we'll go and uh, we'll take this this div this div, and I'm going to turn this also into a flex box and I'll center this on here and the reason why this is not quite centered is because I have margins up here so this probably should be 10 now 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 we're centered correctly okay now I want to uh, I want to add an X box uh, or a close box a close button so uh, let's go ahead and add a another div block and let's put it right in here and let's call this div close Okay, and that's that div, and we're going to make it, say, make it 40 by 40 pixels, and let's uh, give it a background image, and choose image, let's upload an image, let's go here, this little SVGX, let's have to contain it, let's make it uh, width is 70 percent and we want it to be in the center and we don't want it to repeat and there we have that and then I can actually take this also and I can say states hover and give me a like a color so we'll go this this uh, blue color let's see there we are that blue color maybe maybe, 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 maybe a nice green okay so there's our there now we want to put this up here. So the way we do that is, it's kind of a little bit tricky, and you got to watch that. You got to watch this because the way we do that is, we're going to go over here. And we're going to position this with an absolute, and when I do that and go to the top right, you see it goes way up here. Well, why is that? Because this is supposed to be within the flex object that it, the that we contain. So if we look at our at our our closed modal, we're in this modal window. Why are we going and wrapping it, putting it up here? The reason for that is that we need to select this and we need to make, in order for, for the absolute to affect it, we need to go in here and we need to make this in this position relative. And now we're going to get that in the right spot. See, so that's how that works. I'll go ahead and I think I'll just go ahead and add a little, a little margin here, like maybe 10 there and then. 10 here okay so we have a okay so I think we're ready to, we're ready to, to rock now on, on on doing the modal so the way we start this is let's go over here let's grab this button uh, in the section so this is that link button and uh, as you know if we don't have it doing anything right now so I'm gonna go over to this act activity area I'm gonna say element trigger and I'm gonna say mouse click so when we tap on this button on our first click we want to start an animation and we don't have any animations, so let's create one. And we're going to call this one uh, Open Modal. Okay, and now that we know that we're going to open the modal, the first thing we got to do is we see that it's already here. We want this to start off in its original state, all right? We want it to be hidden. So I'm going to turn this, select the hide show. I selected this div modal wrapper. That means that everything was contained with it, if you recall. If you recall, we have uh, in the div modal wrapper we have the modal window, the heading, and the, and, and the, and the close button. So let's go back to here, and uh, let's see where am I at on this element trigger? Let's go or yeah, let's go back to the sorry, but let's go back and here's our trigger. It's this open modal. So let's, let's edit this. So here we are. So here's this this div. We've selected the div and we've said. Don't no, forget, we're not selected the, the button anymore. Now we selected this div, and we want to hide show it, and I'm going to turn this. It's set to be a flex object, because that's how we got the window in the center here. I'm going to turn this off. So now that's hidden, and I'm going to, and I'm going to set it as my initial state, because I want, when this, the, the, the page loads, I want it to be, I want it to be, initially I want it to be uh, uh, hidden. 
and also I want to select the uh, opacity I want it to be I want that to be zero and I want this to be also part of the initial state so that we have a zero opacity okay so now we've got that done uh, and now I can't select it but if I select these I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually select it I'm gonna say it with one of these selected I'll say now let's go ahead and let's do another hide show so I'm gonna I want to show it and we're gonna show it as a flex because that's what we that's what it was in, in the beginning and and then I'm gonna add one more and I can come over here and click this little button here also if I want to and I want to say opacity and I want hundred percent so if we look at this and we hit play we see that see that this kind of comes up quite nicely right so uh, and we might want to say uh, after previous event it might, it might work just a little better so okay so that means that the button should work now so let's go ahead and let's hit the preview button here and let's click on this and there we have it now of course we can't close it nothing works closing but but that's it so let's go back to here now let's figure out how to do the close okay so uh, the way we do close is we're going to go back to uh, our main area and <clears throat> we need to find our our uh, modal wrapper uh, with this let's let's just take the the, the here's the close modal button as you recall so I want to basically say even though I can't see it <clears throat> because we're at the, the at the initial stage but it's still there I want to say when I click on that I want to to hide the wrapper so that's going to be easy we select this we go in here and we say an element trigger we want to say on the mouse tap and I want to select an action start an animation and we have open modal so I want to add another one and I'm going to call this one close modal and with with that uh, I'm going to need to be able to uh, find the the uh, let's go back to here and let's take our our modal wrapper because that's what we're going to that's what we're going to close and we can go back in here and say add a uh, we want to basically show it because it's 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 uh it's being uh let's see yeah we want to show it so we're going to hide that so we're going to hide it and uh and then we want to dissolve also so we want to dissolve off so let's just go ahead and do this show we'll hide it and then we'll also take this and we're going to add a um, opacity and we're turning that all the way down to zero and so if I hit this you'll see that it doesn't really work right so the reason why that is because we're show we're hiding it first we really want to do the opacity first so let's move it let's move let's reverse it and uh, matter of fact let's stick them together so now we hit it and now again it doesn't work and that's because these two are working together in conjunction which doesn't really work with us so I need to basically take this and say after the previous action now if I do it you see it does it does a, pr a lot better job when I play it okay and that's 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 clicking on that button so let's go ahead now and let's preview our, 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 our project I can scroll anywhere I want and I hit this button uh, and when I close it's gonna close now I also want to be able to click out here and close as well so that's gonna be pretty easy what we'll do there is we're going to take our uh, on our on our over here on our thing. We're on, I'm going to select the the wrapper again. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say starting at uh, uh actually let's keep going. Keep on going. Okay, so I've got the wrapper right here. Here's our wrapper, and I want to say at this point I'm going to go and say I want to when I click on the div modal wrapper I want to start an animation. And I'm just gonna, I've already got close has already been done for me so I'm gonna hit the close preview it works fine and say and we should be done so let's just let's play this and see so here we are open it launch the modal click and gets out so get the idea close this now one thing you'll see as we preview this uh, is that a click here takes us back off but also any click in this window here will also take us off which may be what we want but there 
if we've got a form in there or something like that, we really don't want that because we want to actually be able to click a button inside that modal window. So let's turn that off and let's figure out how we're going to fix that. So the best way to fix that is we're going to go right into here and we're going to look at our modal wrapper. And then I'm going to basically grab, uh, oops, sorry, I'm going to grab a div. And I'm going to stick that, let's see, in our modal window right here. And I'm going to call this one a div close wrapper. So it's going to be used just to close. And if I look at this, uh, I really need to have this outside the modal window. I want it outside the modal window, right? So it's going to be behind the modal window. So the modal window will be in front of it. So let's go ahead and set this up so that that's what we have. Okay, so we want to uh, take this and we want to configure this. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to come in here and we're going to position it as a fixed wrapper. Uh, and we are going to go down to this position and we're going to click this little button that says full right here. So that makes it the full, the actual full screen. So uh, that gives us uh, the full, full, the full uh, width and height uh, of whatever the viewport is. So that's what that's going to give us. So now the trick is here is that we've got this Z index. So I'm going to give this a real high number like 9,000. And that means that it's going to catch every single click, including anything in front of here. So then I got to go into this modal window. So I'm going to grab this, which I can't get to right now because this is, this is capturing all the clicks. So I've got to go ahead and grab the, grab the modal window, right? I think I'll move this down just below it just because it really won't make a difference. But I'll grab this modal window now. And I still, even though it's selected, if I, if I click here, notice I'm getting here. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting this wrapper because this has got such a high Z index. So I need to make this a little bit higher. So I'm going to go in here. Because this is already set up as a, uh, um, as this, in this position. If I have it auto, I don't get the Z index. But any of these three, I will. So I'm going to go here and... I'm going to make it 9,900, okay? So now, when I go in here, you'll see that I can still click here and I can still click out here. Now, the last thing I need to do is I need to go in, I need to grab this this wrapper, the original wrapper. It's got a little charge sign on it. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to delete that, right? So for that, I'm going to hit this mouse click. I'm going to turn that off because I didn't want that wrapper. What I want now is I want <coughs> this other wrapper to... The, uh, the 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 other wrapper to, to grab that same thing so if i click here i've got the div close wrapper and i'm going to basically say give me an element trigger of a uh, a mouse click and i want to select start an animation and i want to close the modal and that's it so let's go ahead and preview it and we launch the modal window we can close it here we launch the modal window we can close it clicking out here we launch the window, we click in here, nothing happens. Exactly what we want. So that's it. That's a real quick example of a modal window. Uh, I didn't put a form in there, but if you put a form in there, it's pretty much pretty straightforward. You just drop a form in there and, and you set it up. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Talk to you later.